Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hermitcraft. Just wanted to show you guys, we got a new skin on, or a modified skin on. So on top of the Pharaoh's headdress, we now have ourselves a Minecraft Championships champion crown, I guess is what I call it. Uh, it's orange for the orange ocelots, as myself and False uh, were two members of the team that won uh, the MC Championships recently. So that was super fun, and yeah, I wanted to celebrate with this crown on, and we're also going to put on a gold helmet on top of that. So... We got enough headgear to last a lifetime now. We're out here in the map district because we're going to write a new Hermits and Herald. I think we got multiple stories to put in here. We got the Mycelium story. We got the 117 news, which was awesome if you guys didn't see it. They got new mobs coming like the Warden. There's a Shulk sensor, which will allow wireless redstone. They're updating the mountains. They're adding goats, mountain goats, which can headbutt you off cliffs. Uh, there's axolotls, which are in lush caves, which they're updating caves you didn't know. They got dripstone caves. They got... Uh, a whole new like underground caverns and things. It's it's amazing. I'll be definitely making some videos on the stuff that was announced and some uh, things that could potentially you know be added. Some opportunities maybe to uh, to be added to 117 potentially. And yeah, sort of, sort of go over the update a little bit as well. Uh, but for now, we're going to clear the map. So let's start doing that right here. Uh, also, I have some speed potions. I thought here. Yeah, I do have some speed potions. Very good. So we'll clear the map here, and we will, yeah, basically uh, go around and collect all this carpet, and then write the next Hermit and Herald with a bunch of new stories. Alright guys, the Hermit and Herald is now completed, and as you can see, we actually have three new stories, as well as some images down here, uh, which you can probably make out there as I fly on by, but let's make our way over here. And swoop on in. Very good. All right, so here is the Hermit and Herald right here. Let's put it on the item frame. And it says, Throne missing? The mayor's diamond throne is gone. Reports show all diamond blocks were mysteriously replaced with mycelium. Top suspects include aliens, cows driving forklifts, and a mysterious mustachioed man seen in the area. The investigation continues. Then we have another story. 117 announced as Caves and Cliffs update. Includes long-awaited vibe check sensor, a.k.a. the Shulk sensor. Then we have Minecraft Championships. The Hermiton Herald congratulates False, Cub, and Ren for winning the MCCs this past month. And then we have some images of myself, False Symmetry, and Ren Dog. And then we have the crowns of the Blue Bats and the Orange Ocelots right over there in image form, which is pretty nice, actually. I think it, think it makes a nice Herald. I think it makes a nice Herald. So, we are going to go ahead and update the actual Herald over here to the current map, and there we go. As everything comes into view, it all updates properly. Very good. Make sure we got the volume 12 up here. And there we have it. Herald is now updated. Fantastic. So with the Herald now complete, it's time to now go ahead and switch gears. We're coming back to the pyramid today to work on the hallway over here. So. This hallway we started a few episodes back, but you might notice something a little bit different here. And that is we have a bunch of Cinnabons, a bunch of ancient debris for our wall here. Because we're going to make this entire wall out of ancient debris. Uh, mostly because it looks great. Um, and I think it looks... Since we're going to have water here, I, I sort of imagine this as like a rock face with like water cascading down the rock face right here. You can, it kind of looks like that because there's like a highlight here on the top of the debris. Uh, and also like on this portion down here. So I think it'll look really nice with the water in here. And I think it goes pretty well with the brick as well. Uh, sort of has the same uh, general like feel to it. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go with ancient debris walls here. And uh, we still have to gather a whole bunch of stuff for this. Like for instance, we have to go get a whole bunch of uh, horn coral to put on this thing right here. Uh, still not sure what I'm going to do quite yet for this part down here, but some way we want a, a way out. Oh my god, what the world. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. That's, uh, that, there's a lot of mobs out there, guys. Let's, uh, let's not let, look at this, in this one area I can see three creepers, a zombie, a, there's skeleton, there's another creeper. That is like, that's, man, let's just not, not go there. Let's just not go out there yet. <laughs> Jeez. 
That is a lot of stuff. Because nothing can spawn in the pyramid, so everything spawns outside of the pyramid. <laughs> That's why that happens. But, regardless, let's go ahead and get to work on this hallway here today and see what we can get done. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. As I was starting to build up this hallway by putting down some concrete up here, which you can see, I realized something pretty important. I realized we did not yet have any sort of entrance in this back of the pyramid. So, I think we need to put one here first and do the redstone for this door first before we actually finish up this hallway here uh, and all the stuff that comes with it because it's much easier to basically fit in uh, builds around redstone than it is to do the reverse and fit redstone around builds. So we're going to build a door here first and then finish up the rest of the hallway or at least what we can of the hallway minus the Cinnabons. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to make a smaller door than we have in the front. The front door is like huge. It's probably one of the best doors ever made in Minecraft in my opinion. Um, but yeah, we want sort of a similar principle with this door. We don't want any uh, slime blocks or honey blocks visible. Um, but we want the door to be pretty quick and we want it to be like, we want it to look good, right? You want it to be aesthetically pleasing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go with what I'm calling a snake door. That is, we're going to have this pillar in the middle and then we're going to have sort of like sandstone stairs, which are going to be like alternating like this and like this. And like that, and then all the way up. So this is going to be like our snaking here. And then we'll have a couple of blocks on the side like this. And it's going to come out like this. And we'll have this whole section here move over. We'll have this move over probably... Wow, that was sudden. <laughs> Thunderstorm looks like. Yeah, there's going to be mobs spawning here, so I probably should go to sleep through it. But yeah, basically we'll have this whole thing slide over. And then we'll have uh, like a three wide door on this side and the same thing on this side. We'll have a block here, three more here, and we'll have this whole section here slide over to the left. So it'll be like two two sliding doors on either side. Yeah, there's already husks coming. They're coming. So yeah, we should probably head off and go to sleep. Sleep through this storm. But yeah, we need to make this door happen. So I'm going to get started on that and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we got one half of the door now completed. So this half is now done, and we still have the other half to build on this side. But I just wanted to show you what it's looking like. So right now the door is open. It's three blocks wide, and it is, I believe, nine blocks tall, I want to say. So three by nine is the dimensions. And if I close it here, you'll see what it looks like. So boom, it's closed already. There we go. And then hit the button again, and it opens back up. So this is actually a pretty easy door to build. It relies on the same mechanics we used in the front, namely slime blocks and honey blocks alternating. So you can see here, so we have strips of honey and slime right there. Uh, and basically uh, what it happens here is press the button, signal goes down the redstone line here. Uh, yeah, it goes through these observers right here, goes up here via a uh, slab tower right here. So we got insta wire going up like that. And then it's just triple piston extenders stacked one on top of the other. And that's it. So very useful and very clever design. This was initially designed by a guy called u slash bond2 on the Minecraft subreddit. I'll provide a link to the post which I saw there, uh, which I based this door off of. So yeah, put this back here. And yeah, it's a super nice door. And I'm very excited to see the entire thing working, so let's build the other half and see what it's like. Well guys, there's not too much to look at right now, but this is what it looks like from the back side of the pyramid after I just sort of basically tried to cover up the entire thing with sandstone so that, you know, no redstone was visible from the outside. So that's what we have thus far. Hit the button, of course. Door opens. Really cool how it opens like that, and yeah, you can walk on through. Uh, this side, still have not quite gotten it uh, <laughs> all covered up, of course, because, yeah, I want to, you know, incorporate it into the actual hallway design here, uh, and yeah, cover it up with some other blocks, which I don't have with me right now, but yeah, overall, pretty good, pretty good. We can just hit this to close it back up. Uh, so yeah, that is the full door functionally complete now, so not too shabby, not too shabby, and now that this is actually fully complete, uh, I think we are now set to go ahead and, yeah, decorate the rest of the hallway as I initially planned. 
And yeah, now we can hopefully, uh, yeah, fit this in and make this whole area look pretty nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so it wasn't easy, but we got everything completed. So you can see here what the hallway is looking like, looking mighty fine if I do say so myself. And we're just going to walk on through this and take a look. Of course, we still do need to mine uh, about a thousand or so ancient debris to fill out the walls of this. So just imagine this sort of texture here all the way down this side and all the way down this side. That's what we're going to go for. Um, and yeah, you can see we got the roof done, so it's looking nice with the lapis and the gold, as well as the end rod providing some lighting. We got some glowstone back there underneath the leaves providing some lighting. Uh, we got the, yeah, lighting under here, which has the sea lanterns. And yeah, we got, of course, the chorus fruits growing up here. We got the coral in the middle. Very nice. Uh, come over here. I actually changed up the door a little bit. We went with some cut sandstone here. We got some smooth sandstone blocks here, and of course the wall right here so i think that looks pretty good we also had a little more depth with the slabs right there uh, which helps sort of set that back a little bit we went with some vertical half slabs as well on the sides here as you can see aka the walls i always see people asking for vertical half slabs and i'm not sure it's really a valid thing to ask for now that we have these walls which are essentially vertical half slabs uh you'd have to put them in between solid blocks but yeah they work quite nicely uh with that uh like that so yeah, we also did a little bit on the outside here. Let's open up the door. Very good. There we go. So, on this outside here, we put down some sand. We put down some sandstone. And just generally tried to make it a little bit better looking. So, yeah, there, there you go. That's what it looks like right now. I'm thinking I might just cut off all these stairs and things. And then just make just like a straight up, you know, sandstone uh, structure going downwards here. But uh, for now, I think it's fine. And it's all lit up here, so there won't be mobs, like, directly outside of the door or anything. Uh, and this just leads straight out here. We put down a little bit of slabbage on the outside, so... Yeah, we have a nice little sort of run up here. May put a pathway out here, if I build some more structures out here, uh, later on in the season, but, uh... We shall see. There we go. Door opens, and... Yeah, we can walk on through like so. So... 
there we have it. Quick close on the door, and yeah, this hallway is looking mighty fancy. Mighty fancy. And of course, we do indeed have a chorus fruit farm built into the hallway. So all these chorus plants can be taken out in one fell swoop because this end stone will move if I press this button here. And I also have a barrel of snowballs here, which basically can allow me to take out all the chorus fruit flowers rather easily. So yeah, if you didn't know that, snowballs can take out the chorus fruit flowers uh, just like arrows can, for instance. So they're pretty useful in that regard. Uh, so I'm going to go through here, take down a few of these flowers, and then we're going to harvest the rest of the chorus fruit. All right, I think we got most of the chorus flowers taken out. We got a few stragglers here. We'll just take some of these out here. There we go. And yeah, we might as well go ahead and hit the button. And there we go. All chorus fruit down. Now all we got to do is just simply come on in here, walk along here, and pick it all up. So there we have it guys, that is the hallway here. Pretty cool little hallway with the farm built in, uh, which I really like, and hopefully you guys do too. Uh, we also brought down these diamonds here by the way, and sort of changed up this with like some added depth with the wall and with this thing, so yeah, this changed up a little bit too, but yeah, the hallway is looking pretty cool, hopefully you guys like it, and yeah, um, that is that. Obviously we'll keep working on putting down ancient debris throughout the next few days and weeks, but uh, that is the entire thing now completed. I'm going to go dump off some of this coarse fruit in here. We got about almost six stacks of coarse fruit, so not too shabby. And of course, we got some coarse flowers as well, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but anyways, yeah, now that we're done with this hallway for now, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and head on over to the town hall because I believe that the auction has now concluded and everybody, I think, has paid. So we're going to go and collect some of the diamonds from the auction room at the town hall. All right, ladies and gents, flying on into the shopping district. Let's see what we got. And it looks like we got free pumpkins for Halloween, one box per person. Oh, nice. That's sweet. Papa K's pumpkin farm. <laughs> this is great. This has got to be Corrales. Papa K? Yeah, that's Corrales. That's Corrales. Dude, I'm going to take one. Free pumpkins. This is great. Uh, I'm going to take... Uh uh, do I need pumpkins, though? Yeah, I need pumpkins. I'm going to take one of these off the top. There we go. Beautiful. Thank you, Corrales. Much appreciated, my guy. Thank you so very much. Look at all the little micro blocks he's used here, too. <laughs> That's great. That's a really cool vehicle. Really cool build. Uh, but here we are for... Uh, we're here for the auction right here. So let's see if anybody left feedback, first of all. Uh, congratulations. Let's go on. Okay. Uh, best auction 2020, Hypno. Thank you, Hypno. Very professional auction. I was hoping for more decked out boxes. Maybe next time, eat though. Gotcha. Gotcha. And then page three blank. All right. Thank you guys for leaving that. Uh, and let's see what we got here. I think everybody... Looks like everybody is paid. Yep. Everything is gone, which is fantastic. Got all that junk out of here. There was actually a lot of junk here. Uh, and yeah, now we should have a bunch of diamonds. And we should have Ethos the stick. The stick. We're going to put this up somewhere in the town hall, I think, because that is the stick. Not just any stick, the stick. Let's see what else we got. Okay, 101 diamonds from Jevin. Very good. Bisuma has paid. 12 diamonds from him. Corrales, 24 diamonds. Yeah, looks like everybody has paid, so let's go around and check all these. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how many diamonds we have in total. Well, guys, I'm happy to announce we got a grand total of six and a half stacks of diamonds here. Look at all those diamonds. Absolutely fantastic. Plus the priceless artifact of the stick. That calls for a little celebration, folks. That calls for a little celebration. Bada bang. Oh, nice. A little fancy firework action going on there. Let's do one more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so... Six and a half stacks of diamonds. Thank you to all the hermits who participated in this auction, by the way. They got some good stuff, and most importantly, they helped in eliminating the clutter from the shopping district. I think we can all agree that is a very good thing. So, yeah, thank you to all the hermits who participated, and let's now make our way back up to the enforcer's office. It is time to vibe, my friends. It is time to vibe, and also the throne is now just totally gone. It's no longer mycelium. <laughs> it's just straight up gone. Only B-dubs, solitary, mini diamond block remains. So, okay then. Let's, uh, let's just keep going. Let's just pretend like we never saw it. And let's go up to the enforcer's room. Time to vibe.
Good night, sweet Corrales. It was around this time where I realized I was five minutes late to a meeting with the mayor. Luckily, he's right next door, so I walked on over and met with him. Oh, Mr. Mayor. Well, hello there, Cub. Come on in, come on in. Hello, hello, sir. Uh, I've noticed there's no seat for me. Oh, this is this, this is this, there's not really a seat for me either. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Um, it's mainly a standing room here. Gotcha. I mean, that's good for your health, right? That's that's very good. It is good for the calves. Yeah. So did you see I killed the throne out there? I murdered it. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. I was I was going to be honest. Like, I was a little bit worried when I saw it was gone because, uh, yeah, it used to be diamonds and now there are none. So. Oh, that was Mumbo. Mumbo is the resistance leader. Oh, he did that. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just found out, dude. Dude, I can't even get the throne back because I have to use the Kaguma key that he made for me at the beginning of the season for my storage area to keep green out stuff. And I lost that key like months ago. Oh. And, and now this is basically just a diving board and it's sad. I see it. That wasn't in the, one of the auction boxes, was it? What? The key. I sure hope not, Cub. <laughs> oh, man. That, that's got me a little worried now, to be honest. Well, I'm a little worried myself now. So what? So how are you going to get in then? You got to bust in? I mean, I think that would be breaking the Minecraft rules. I have to figure out where the key is. Also, it's mumbo. Like, it's probably fancy. There's probably TNT. He tried to trap me going into it. I got crushed by pistons. Also, did you see this? Why is B-Dub's throne perfectly fine? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's just so small that they didn't even consider it. They couldn't. They couldn't bear the thought of somebody being without this little diamond. That's it's... a good thought right there. I like that. Also, did you notice that he cut corners when he did the flooring? He didn't do the flooring under the throne. Yeah, he this saved is... a buck. Man, I, I'm going to be honest, man. You're broke. You're totally broke right now. So sad. I'm very sad and very self-conscious about this cub. I'm looking for somewhere to hide. Nowhere to hide. This is a wide open room. Okay, never mm -hmm. mind. <laughs> Dude, I do have some I do have some positive news for us though. Check this out. Check yes. this out. Check this out. Bam. <gasps> Bam. Diamonds. Is that a single diamond or two single diamonds oh. or is that a stacks? Stacks on stacks, my friend. Stacks on stacks on stacks. Oh, I love some stacks on stacks. This Here, is throw it on the ground. I want to see it all. I just want to see it bouncing. Check it out. Check it out. Look at this. Whoa, look at, this. Look at it. This, Wait, that, is this from the auction? That that. Yep. That's all the auction diamonds right there. That's some serious diamond action. Wow. It's a good amount, dude. Six and a half stacks. Six and a half stacks. Six stacks? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm very glad you're the enforcer. Yeah, yeah. But dude, I mm -hmm. thought I thought I was gonna be able to get paid here, right? Thought I was, um, I was gonna get some cheddar. I was gonna get some this cheddar. This is more of kind of like a employment of passion, if you will. <sighs> it's kind of a you come here, you're very passionate about about where I'm taking the course of this island and stuff, and you want to get on board, and, you know, it's kind of just on your free time, you know? Dude, am I working for free here? No, passion. <sighs> In the heart, Cub. Feel, feel your heart right now. Feel it. That's what you're working for. No, oh, I, I mean, I feel, I feel like it should be diamonds, but there's none here. They're gone. This was my payment, I assumed. Um, well, it, it, I mean, it, 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 it could be back if I could find the key that is. And, um, look, diamonds over here, cub, you got all the road passes. Woo. Don't forget. Uh, no, no payments. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Look at yeah. All these diamonds. This, this is great. This is great. But, uh, I'm going to need some payment for this stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm going to hand these off to you, right? Employee um, town hall, employee in town hall. I'm, all right. You're, you're freaking me out here. Um, <laughs> uh, I need you. I need you cub. Um, employee town hall. That, that's what you are. Whatever it is. It, it, Town Hall Employee of the Month. There you go. Oh, okay. Okay. Fantastic. Satisfied? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you still good. have a dime that's in good. your hand. Yeah. yeah just I keep see. them coming. There I'll you just, go. I'll just throw those on to you. I'll take the Employee of the Month, man. I'll take the Employee of the Month. And uh, is there any special perks I get? I need your head again. So I'm just going to kill you uh, real quick. Make okay. sure I got all the diamonds. 
I'm going yeah. to provide you a shulker box here real quickly for you to put your supplies in. And then oh, we'll actually have a chest here. There you are. I'm going to put this right here. And there. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just pass on this, man. Uh, I need your head cub for the uh, the town hall portrait. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to say no on that one. Uh, How am I supposed to honor you? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, if that if it's for an honor, then yeah, let's let's do it. It's for honor. Hang on one second. Let me just this. Da, 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 da. Okay, okay, I'm good. You have to put the crown in, or is that just part of your soul? Yeah, this is just part of my soul. It's like it's it's soul bound to me, so it's all good. Oh wait, wait, sleep over there real quick. Oh yeah, yeah, good, good point. Nope, wait, wait, hang on. Oh, I'm. <laughs> I didn't get not it. Not fast enough. Wait, it's not okay. fast enough. No. I'm, I'm back in my office. It's okay. It's okay. I'm up here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, good. Good. Your stuff's all here. Awesome. And I will build a beautiful memorial to you mm -hmm. for being the um, employee of the month here at the town hall. Okay, fantastic. That means I don't have no to need do for any... Payments. No enforcing for the next month, I think. That's what that means. Fantastic. No, it means extra work because the resistance, Cub. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm not worried about that, though. I'm the employee of the month now. It's already, it's already no, been decided. No, we're all worried about it. Nah, not me. Not me. I'm just going to kick back, relax, and just enjoy the chaos, I think, is my plan. Yeah. Everything's falling apart around here. Oh, no. Well, you heard the mayor, guys. We've been named the employee of the month here in the town hall, and... Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, that means we can just kick our feet up and relax, and whatever happens, happens, you know? I'm not going to concern myself with it, just going to just roll with it, you know? And, uh, I mean, what are they going to do? If they report me to the police, I mean, I am the police. So, yeah, kind of above the law. Uh, also, why do we not have music here? Let's go get some music on. And now it's vibe time all the time here for us as the enforcer. So we can just sit back, relax, chill, you know, take it easy, and yeah, just uh, enjoy ourselves. So anyways, for now guys, that's going to be it for me today. If you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like, be sure to subscribe, and as always, thanks so much for watching guys. This has been Cub. Goodbye. <laughs>